So what is up pimps, hoes, and buffaloes? The video today is going to be almost a response to something I posted around three or four months ago now. The title of that video was Serious Commentary Live Every Moment. Some of you may remember it, but a lot of you are new to the channel, so will therefore have no idea what I'm going on about right now. So I'll give you a quick brief description. Basically guys, a few months ago, I found out that my grandmother, my nan, was diagnosed with cancer. Me and my nan were really, really close, so this did hit me really, really hard. My dad came round, he told me what was going on, he told me the whole situation, and I really didn't know what to do. I was so upset. Upset. I was crying. Yes, men, real men, we do cry. I was upset and I didn't really know what to do. So I thought to myself, you know what? I'm just going to express all of my feelings and emotions on one video. And there were so many lovely comments on that video towards myself and the rest of my family from you guys, which until this day, I still cannot thank you enough for. But I went to see my nan this morning. She's currently in hospital. Things, you know, they have deteriorated in the past few days. And it is just horrible to see. I was in there sitting, talking to her, looking at her, and I could see the pain etched on her face. And it's one of those moments where you just think to yourself, why? Why is this happening to lovely people in this world that do not deserve to suffer any sort of physical or mental pain whatsoever? But guys, that is just the way the world works. Life is often a bitch. It happens. There's nothing you can do about it. It's one of those moments where you just think to yourself, right now, my life personally, it's pretty good. I wish I could take some of the pain that you're currently suffering from right now and put it on my own shoulders. I just wanted to do that, but I'm powerless. There's nothing I can do. No matter how many times I visit... It's not going to take away from the fact that my nan is ill and it's not going to get better. That is just simply the way it goes. And a couple of days ago, I also saw a tweet from Syndicate as well. Unfortunately, his grandma passed away and my thoughts and prayers are with you and your family right now, fella. It is horrible for anyone. And we think we look at Syndicate and we think, God, his life must be absolutely perfect. He's earning mega YouTube money. He's got a lovely girlfriend and so on and so forth. And, you know, life is still a bitch for people like Syndicate as well. We need to really think about it. We cannot take anything for granted in life. Life is always going to come round and bite you in the ass. Something horrible is always going to happen and ruin what seems to be a great time or a great moment. And unfortunately, still to this date right now, I may think that everything's going well with YouTube. I'm going to be going back to university in September. And, you know, things are looking up for me in the world. Hopefully, I'm going to have a successful career in whatever I end up doing. But still, when I look at my nan and when I look at other people suffering in the world, I just think, what can I do? This is just horrible. Why should it happen to people that I love and people that other people love as well? And, of course, you see the things going on with Hurricane Sandy at the moment. It angers me when I see all of this shit on Twitter of people making jokes. Dude, people are losing their lives, their homes, their families, their pets because of this freaking hurricane. And people are making jokes and laughing about it on Twitter. And I realize that Hurricane Sandy... You know, it's, it's another natural disaster. It's something that happens all around the world every single day of the year. There's always earthquakes happening and stuff like this. But even when it's so public in the news at the moment, it really does make you think how lucky you are. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to speak a little bit more about something serious today so that you guys get a bit more perspective into, you know, life isn't all perfect for everybody. And of course, my thoughts and prayers, and hopefully yours are too, with Syndicate and the rest of his family at the moment. And as well as that, guys, if you're with someone in your family today, go and tell them that you love them. I said that in the last video that I did something like this around three or four months ago, the video I referenced at the start of this video. But I mean it, guys. Seriously, do it. Thank you for watching today, and hopefully we'll be back with some more videos in the next couple of days. Thanks, guys. Peace. Well then guys, I realise that videos like this are pretty difficult to enjoy, but hopefully you understood the message I was trying to portray within. On the left hand side, my previous video, it's another Peter Griffin drop, this time on MW3 Lobbies. On the right hand side, we also have a random video. Both videos will open in separate tabs. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video to an extent, and enjoy the videos on the screen right now guys. I'll speak to you tomorrow. Thanks. Peace.